Hello, hello, hello. I'm Eric Andrew. I'm the superintendent of Campbell Union School District. We are a medium-sized district, or small. We're about 10, excuse me, 8,000 students. We are preschool through eighth grade district. We do a lot of work with STEAM, so we do include the A in the process. And when we're looking at devices, we look at several different types of devices. Our district is very, very diverse. We have some schools that are 90 plus percent poverty. We have another side of, of the district that has millionaires. And so it's really interesting as you look at equitable practices, ensuring that all of our kids have access. And we're really, really uh, strong in making sure that all of our students, no matter where they come from, have access to good technology and teachers. And so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how we set up a structure, because I'm a true believer in data schmata is the relationships that matter. <laughs> And so, there's a book coming out for that title soon. Trust me, trust me. So, you see the Ghostbuster, who are you going to call? One of the things we really try to do in Campbell is to ensure that when we have professional learning, that all of our staff is involved in the process. And if you really want to know what you believe in, what your why is, follow the dollars. Follow the money. That will always tell you where your priorities are. So one of the things we've done here is we're committed. We're committed to making sure that technology is integrated into our learning. And how do we do that? We have several positions here. One being a uh, director of technology. We all have some form of innovation specialist. And ours is very robust. He is so good, so good, that last week he resigned to take another job. <laughs> Son of a gun. So Kevin, I can relate to that. Let's relate to that. But here's how we are committed to ensuring that technology is a part of our everyday instruction. First of all, we have integration coaches, five coaches who actually, uh, John knows most of my coaches very, very well because they are Q rock stars. They are the ones who have, uh, I teach sessions every summer for our teachers. They are the ones who go to all of the ISTE, the Q, any type of training. They are the people who ensure that our district is on uh, a par to have the most current research. Then we have site liaison. So our tech coaches have direct access to our site liaisons. Every one of our uh, nine schools has a, a technology liaison. And the coaches work with them to ensure that whatever instructional practices we put in place is being implemented in the classroom on a regular basis. So there's always somebody in a classroom looking to ensure that technology is used as a, a pedagogical practice. And then we have tech support, but it doesn't matter unless you see it in student learning. Remember, that's what we're all about, and it's, it's ensuring that every single one of our students has some form of technology. And keeping in mind that that technology is not just computers and those types of things. So one of the things I wanted to show you is, for example, some of our students, we have these blue bots. And so we have a very, very strong program in, our, in which every single one of our second graders, for example, receives instruction from an authentic artist from Montavo Arts. Every single one of our fifth graders receives some training from a scientist and or an engineer. And we're talking about not a one-time deal, we're talking about six to eight week experiences and they get a chance to go to the, the companies of the scientists. So we did coding. So all of our third graders learn coding. And so the, here's an example of some of our students who are taking the blue bot and they're doing chronologies of history. It could be of anything. They code the, the little blue bot to go to various uh, uh, number lines that says in this, during this period of time, this is what happened. We do it for autobiographies, we do it for, for science, we do it for math, all different types of things. And so they've, all of our third graders know coding. Down below you see a youngster there excited about his little iPad. All, next year we will have one-to-one -one deployment for our second through eighth grade, and then in the spring we'll have it from preschool through uh, uh, eighth grade. The thing that's most important is that we have hands-on coaches. So if there's a teacher who gets stuck, who's not sure, there's somebody by their side 
willing to work with them and helping them along the way. Staff meetings, professional development, all of these things use technology as a way of it being integrated. Our technology person sits on, or actually the coaches as well as the director, sit on our CNI and uh, department's uh, meetings. They are also a part of our business meetings because in our district we have that bi-coastal thing where uh, the, the infrastructure is run by the business department and the instructional piece is by CNI. So we make sure that there's collaboration and weekly meetings between the two groups so that any funding that we have, if CNI says we need a specific device or specific training, it's available and it's there for us. We feel very strong about how powerful technology can be in the classroom. We have examples, but most importantly, we're building those relationships where teachers know they can take a risk, but they take a risk with somebody right by their side. So with that, thank you very much.